How's it going guys? It's Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'll be doing a series of torture tests on the Nokia Lumia 920 to see just how durable the phone actually is. So this is the phone from the drop test that I did a few days ago. As you can see there are some little scuff marks on the corners and actually what I want to show you is the left edge because on the drop test it actually looked a lot worse but it was mostly the asphalt that I dropped it on, most of it wiped off. So, so far it's fared really, really well as far as the drop test. Now I'm gonna be taking it to the next level. I'm gonna be dropping a mallet on it, a knife, scratching with keys, and then finally I'm gonna be using it as a hammer to see if that's gonna crack the screen. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, first thing we'll do is gonna be the keys because that's probably the easiest one for it to pass. So I'm gonna scratch both the front and the back to see you know how it fares. So first we'll do the uh, back. So I'll just pick this key, I guess and uh, start scratching away. So I am applying pressure, you know, I'm not doing it lightly by any means, so I'll, I'll go over the camera lens too, just to kind of give you an idea. So basically, I mean, obviously, you're never gonna be actually scratching your phone with your keys, hopefully, but you might, you know, keep your phone in the same pocket as you keep your keys, and you know, over a bunch of days, it might actually, you know, affect it like this. So anyway, it looks like it did absolutely nothing. I mean, I don't see not even one mark uh, from that test. Let's see the camera and Looks pretty good. So I you can see some light scratches right here But I mean it doesn't even show up like you have to really put it at an angle and get lighting on it And then you can see those little light scratches, but uh, really really good so far So the back um, seems pretty uh, sturdy as far as uh, When it comes to scratching a key on it. So now let's do the screen itself So first we'll show you, you know what it looks like before uh, didn't really take any damage from the drop test uh, when I Dropped it the other day the screen looks pretty good. I mean, it didn't seem to actually do anything. So we'll go ahead and use a key on it directly. So again, applying a whole bunch of pressure. And I was kind of rub the keys on it. All right, so let's see how it fared. So um, looks pretty good. I mean, I can't really see any noticeable scratches. I'm going ahead and wipe it off with my shirt. All right, so now that I cleaned it, uh, we get a better idea. And again, doesn't look like there's any signs of damage. I mean, this, the keys almost seem like it didn't even affect the screen. So again, really, really good. So as far as the key test goes, uh, it looks like the Nokia Lumina 920 passes. So let's take it to the next level. We gotta go a little bit more extreme. We're gonna be using a knife. Now, how often are you gonna actually be slashing your phone? Pretty much never, hopefully. But this is gonna give you a good idea as far as you know how to hold up uh, if you were to drop it, if you were to put it you know with keys and all that stuff so anyway we'll go ahead and start slashing away all right so we can see that the uh, camera lens cover does actually take some damage but the polycarbonate material on the back doesn't seem to be showing that much so let's see what happens so you can definitely see the scratch marks now so the knife definitely is uh, gonna scratch it you can see the lens too took some damage. I'll go ahead and try to wipe it off my shirt and see what happens. All right, so I wiped it off, and you know what? While there's still, you know, the scratches still show up, it doesn't look as bad. So basically, it's some of that, you know, residue. But for the most part, it looks really good. You know, really impressed by this again. I mean, yeah, you're gonna see the scratches, but it's not gonna be like noticeable. So it's not gonna uh, pretty much make your phone look bad. So that's pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and try the screen. So we'll wipe off the screen. We'll take a look at the screen beforehand. Again, looks perfectly fine right now. And now, let's put this gigantic knife onto the screen, so. And uh, we'll do it at an angle. And we'll do a little bit of stabbing. All right, now that should definitely do something. Uh, That's this residue from the previous test. And, um, Looks good, let's see if the screen is working. And yeah, it's still working. So, looks like it passed this test again. I mean, I don't really even see, not even noticeable marks right now. I'll go ahead and try to wipe it off my shirt. And, yeah, I mean, I don't see anything. I mean, on camera, it's gonna be kinda hard to see to begin with, but in person, you know, looking at it, I don't see any, like, any signs of any scratches at all. So, really impressive. All right, so let's do, let's do the side, because. Usually the phones scratch really easily on the side, so. Alright, so I slashed away at that, and that definitely did some damage. So you can see, 
made some markings all over the side and uh, we'll go ahead and try to wipe it off, see what happens. Alright, so I try to wipe it off. Now this seems to be the most damage it's taken so far and typically what I found with phones is the sides tend to be you know, a little bit worse off when it comes to durability and that's because, you know, it's a thinner area and it's going to take more of the damage or more of the hit. So basically, you know, the knife when it was slashing across, it really made a difference and you can see it does show definite, you know, scratch marks. Um, so in that test, I'd say, you know, it's a fail, but still, you know, did pretty good considering, but as far as the side, it did, you know, it didn't do as good. The back, I mean, honestly, looks pretty much like, oh, it's almost like brand new. The front looks like it's brand new. So pretty much what you might have to worry about is the, uh, the sides. Just like on the drop test, we had to worry about the corners, but everything else seemed to be fine. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's take it to the next level. Now we're actually going to be getting the mallet and dropping that, trying to see if we could, uh, uh crack the screen. So... We'll go ahead and leave the uh, screen on. So first, I'll just drop it. So I'm gonna go like about six inches above the screen, or so. And I'm, first, I'm gonna drop it, and then after, if it survives, I'm gonna you know put some more pressure. So let's go ahead and drop it. All right. So let's go a little higher. Let's go like eight inches up. All right. Let's go ahead and see what. Happened. Uh, touchscreen seems to be working just fine. Uh, all my icons rearranged somehow, but touchscreen seems to be working just fine and no noticeable signs of damage. So again, really, really good. So now, you know what? Let's put some pressure on it. Let's actually try to crack this thing. So I'm actually, you know, slam it pretty hard. So. And. Nothing happened. <laughs> Alright, so really impressive. I mean, I was smacking the heck out of that thing. Uh, you guys probably heard the force I was doing and you know what? Looks really, really good. The screen seems to be working just fine. So pretty much as if nothing happened to it. So that's really impressive. Now let's take it to the next level. I'm going to use the phone as a hammer itself. So I'm actually going to get a piece of wood over here. So let's bring that in. And where's my nail? There it is. Alright, so this is going to be kind of hard to set up. I want to slam my finger, so we'll go ahead and use this little tool right here, and alright, let's go ahead and use it as a hammer, whoops, well that didn't work, try to hold it a little harder, alright, so again, use it as a hammer, alright, so we got that thing in there, let's look at the screen, so you can see the markings that it made. Let's see if that wipes off. So it does wipe off. It looks good. And let's wait for it. Does the screen work? And it does. And just to prove that the you know nail is in there, you can see it is in there. So pretty darn impressive. Um, honestly, I don't know what else to do as far as this test goes. We're going to be taking it to the next level in the very next video to see just how much punishment this phone could take before it cracks. And I mean that literally, so make sure you subscribe for that. Uh, if you found this video helpful in the sense that it showed you how durable the Nokia Lumia 920 actually is, please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching the video.